2005 is when I really remember a picture of myself when I was about 70 pounds heavier, so I was overweight, I was unhealthy, sedentary, I couldn't run for 10 minutes, um, I was a smoker, I couldn't quit that, I tried seven times to quit, I was deeply in debt, so much so that I couldn't make my you know, ends meet from paycheck to paycheck. I couldn't change any of my habits and I couldn't figure out why. So minimalism and blogging and habit change, all of these have been tools for me for learning about myself and how I work and how my mind works and how change works. And so minimalism was one of those first tools. Meditation was another one. Uh, blogging was another amazing tool for learning about myself. And in each one of these things, you have to kind of reflect and see what is going on inside of yourself because we end up being this series of unconscious decisions that we make throughout the day. Um, I want this food because it looks delicious. You know, I, you know, I want that new product because it, it, the commercial was awesome, right? So the, there's all these urges that we have and we just act on them. And there are these unconscious impulses that we're letting dictate our lives. And so minimalism was one of the tools that I used to say, well, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why do I want this Big Mac? Why do I want this you know, new Apple product? And I mean, there's nothing wrong with those two things in and of themselves, but there was something going on there that I didn't really understand. So minimalism was an amazing tool for learning what was going on there and also helping me to get unstuck because I was just this repeated process of trying and failing. It was an amazing journey and I'm still on it actually today.